In this video, we will look at the Hospira Plum a infusion pump and how to program different infusions. When using an infusion pump, you will always start with programming the primary or A line. Begin by powering on the infusion pump by pressing the on-off button in the lower left-hand corner. The first screen lists all of the units in the hospital. Identify the unit on which you are working and press enter. You'll be prompted to place the tubing cassette primed with your medication into the pump. You can open the door by pulling the lever up and closing it by pushing it back down. Open the door and place the cassette into position. The pump will run a self-check and as this happens it will say cassette test in progress on the screen. If there are any bubbles in the line, the cassette test will fail and you'll need to remove any air from that cassette. Take an empty syringe and screw it into the blue port on the top of the cassette. Hold down the back prime button. Medication will be pulled from the bag through the tubing and up into the syringe, along with any air that's sitting in the cassette. When all of the air is pulled into the syringe, release the back prime button and the pump will do a new cassette test. When the cassette test is successful, you'll be able to program the pump. Press the A button and you'll be taken to the screen to program for the primary line. Now press the drug list button and you'll be taken to a list of all the medications available on that unit. For this example, heparin will be selected. For most medications, you'll be programming using the standard program. Because we used the drug library, we are able to program specifically the information that is needed for this medication. The dosing for heparin is weight-based, so the first thing we do is enter a patient weight. The dose is entered in units per kilogram per hour, but this will not be true for every medication you program. Other medications will use a variety of different measurements. Because of the variation in dosing of different medications, it's important that you enter this value in the dose category and not the rate category, which is always measured in milliliters per hour. The next field is VTBI, or volume to be infused. This is the total amount of fluid in the IV bag. With dose and volume entered, duration and rate will auto-calculate and fill in the numbers themselves. With your program complete, press Start. Read through the program to verify that everything is correct and then press yes to confirm. You should now see pumping next to the A line in the top left corner. One of the features of the Hospira pump is that it is able to infuse two medications through the same pump. To do this, you'll program using the secondary or B line, sometimes known as the piggyback line. Begin by priming your medication into secondary tubing. Attach that tubing to the port on the top of the cassette. Remember to unclamp your roller clamp. If you forget to open the roller clamp and try to start your beeline, the pump will beep with a proximal air alarm. Go back, open your clamp, and press start on your line, and the medication should begin to flow. Just like when programming the primary line, you'll need to utilize the drug library to choose your medication. We'll use heparin as the example. Choose standard program, and all of the programming features are the same as with a primary line. Except for one additional category, which is mode. The default mode is set to piggyback. When running in piggyback mode, the A line is delayed while the B line continues to pump. The B line pumps until the volume is completed, in which case the B line stops and the A line resumes pumping. There is never an alarm to signify that the B line has completed pumping. Enter the rest of the information as you would with the primary line. When you're ready, press start, and once it's confirmed, press yes. Because piggyback mode requires an A line to be put on delay while the B line runs, if your A line is not currently running, you will get an alert asking if you want to start your B line anyway. Press yes, and when you return to the main screen, press start again, and your A line will be put on delay. There's one other mode we can use to program medications, and that's concurrent mode. For example, let's look at potassium chloride. That's a medication that when given directly can cause a lot of irritation and burning in the patient. But when diluted with saline, that burning can be minimized or eliminated. In order to accomplish this, we'll need to be able to run saline through the A line at the same time we're running potassium through the B line. In other words, we need to run these two fluids concurrently. Highlight the mode and press the Change Mode key. You've changed piggyback to concurrent. Now when you press Start, the B line will run at the same time as the A line. Nothing will be delayed. Unlike in piggyback mode, with concurrent mode, when the B line runs empty, you will get an alarm to alert you that you need a new bag.